At the age of 80, Richard Brisley began running. I first became aware of this when I was sent a photo by a subscriber, Paul, who'd spotted Richard, then 82 years old, at his local park run, wearing a jog on top. I wanted to know more, and so, a few months after seeing the photo, I invited Richard to sit down with me and understand some more about his running. And from there, separated only by a half century, we decided to take on a 5k together to see how Richard would do. I'm Harry Morgan, and this is Jog On. So Richard, we've arrived at Dover Waterfront Park Run. How confident are you feeling about this morning? Pretty good, really. If you're looking to do a good time, this will be the place to do it. Last time you were here, Richard, the one time you've run it, you ran 40 minutes and 11 seconds. Yes, you were very close to 40 minutes. So today we're going to try and set off at a pace that's sort of just inside 40 minutes. Perhaps get into the 39s. I will try and do it with your help. Brilliant. Richard, yep. looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks a lot, mate. Nice one. Are you at the finish line, Richard? Yeah, OK, thank you. With Richard getting recognised before we'd even begun, we started started a short warm-up to get us ready for the 5k distance. Jogging down the seafront, Jog On ambassador Ian and Richard's wife Judy could be seen also warming up. <laughs> it's really, really nice conditions today. Coming down to Dover, you can't help but wonder whether there's a chance that it's going to be quite stormy, quite windy. But actually, it's not too bad. To run under 40 minutes for a 5k, you're looking at getting just inside that 8 minute kilometre mark. So that's our plan to hold just inside 8 minute kilometres. All we can do is see how Richard feels and then push on towards the end if he's got the strength to do it. Looking forward to it. As we spoke about the course, more people were arriving. Richard had told me that the atmosphere will be great and I'm really looking forward to it. In amongst the gathering runners, the jog on tops popped when, all of a sudden, a siren sounded. It was time to line up. Put Richard right at the front. Okay, you put yourself right If you start at the back, you're going to lose a few seconds. So I don't want to lose seconds, I need them. <laughs> we need whatever we can get. <laughs> Richard appeared to have developed a slick, hip swaying move to work his way through the crowds and found his spot. So we're here with the last Yeah, yeah, cool. We're pulling ourselves sort of mid pack ish. With jog on socks at the ready, let's do it. We clapped, said hello. Yeah, and it was time to start. Right, and I will give it my best shot. Three, two, one, Dover Waterfront Park Run had begun. <laughs> Ian and Judy were on their way, and Richard, looking focused, had begun his mission to run a sub 45k. Oh, <laughs> Taking the celebrity life in his stride, I checked the watch to make sure that we were on pace. Yeah. Well, I think we're good at the moment. <laughs> Cheers, Zoe. Yeah, nice one, Zoe. Thanks very much, appreciate it. That lady just said she loved the videos. Oh, that's good. Richard's looking good, but he's going to try and settle into the pace. Ferries waited to cross the English Channel as a stream of colourful runners moved their way along the waterfront. A lot of people swimming in the sea down here must be absolutely freezing. Coming up to 400 metres done. Unfortunately, I fall into the trap of taking off too fast. Right. I do not pace myself very well. Main aim here is just to keep Richard nice and comfortable. We'll push on towards the ferry port and then be doubling back. We'll see those first runners coming through shortly. Well done, great running. First runner absolutely flew past us and Richard seemed to be finding his rhythm. Well done guys, great work. Further down the front, the first runner was moving so quickly he was now overtaking bikes. Meanwhile, Richard and I cheered on Paul, right, Paul. Paul, the man who'd first sent the photo of Richard months before. One of the things that's particularly nice is when you go up and back, you can see people coming towards you. So if you've got anyone you know or say, oh, well done, or, you know, it's really good. As we moved our way up towards the turnaround point, I was able to admire the views of the Dover waters. Beautiful. Just a really calm morning. Coming back down, Ian and Judy were having a great time, with Judy looking to potentially run a personal best. Richard coming up to his first turnaround. Yeah. Go on, no shortcuts. Cheers, Marshall. With his swaying hips, Richard flowed around the orange cones, See you in a moment. marking the turnaround. I think it gives people hope. They go, oh, I hope I can run at that age as well. Well, I, I think a lot of people could, but you've got to give it a go. You've got to have the incentive to do it. The electric orange of Richard against the calm blue sea. Plat swinging, crew member Zoe was getting her 5K done and Richard was staying on pace. So we're holding just inside that eight minute kilometer mark right now. So Richard's got to keep this rhythm now and keep it moving. Here comes first runner. Well done, dear, great running. Well done. Well done, great run. Sometimes I feel like societally, people who get to a certain age can almost be written off a little bit. Oh, they might just be sitting on a sofa now and watching television. And the fact is, you're proving that that absolutely doesn't have to be it the lifestyle. It doesn't have to be. I think it's your mindset and who you are, obviously. I mean, we're all different as human beings, aren't we? We're going through here. Are we finishing? <laughs> That'd be great. Richard, you got this. Come on, boy. Thank you. Bye, Richard. 
Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Fantastic. What support! And with that, really nice pacing, Richard. we entered the pier. Richard. Runners coming back down towards us, a lady in a blue top gave a high five. <laughs> okay, we've made it onto the pier. Just past two kilometers. Second K was a 7.46. Really nice pacing there from Richard. He's looking smooth. We're going to push up the, the pier, which is very picturesque across the waterway, all the boats and ships and back. Determined and dogged, Richard played his experience card and ran the absolute tightest line he could. Anything to give himself the best chance of staying under eight minutes per kilometer. Fantastic. As Ian and Judy celebrated, they passed someone special. And then there's Edwin, who's 79. And he's done 400 and something runs. Back down the pier now. We've got Edwin coming towards us. Yeah. Well done, Edwin. Great stuff. Well done, mate. He's getting a little bit older now, and I, he taught me a lot. Keep that moving, Richard. Our shoes rolled down the pier, and bit by bit, we got closer. However, unfortunately, we'd fallen off the pace. That was our first one that was a bit slower, yeah. yeah. So we just hit 3K, that was an 808. So for the first time, slightly outside. Yeah. But across the whole three kilometers, we are inside the sub 40. But what's important now is that Rich and I keep that rhythm and keep pushing on to try to bring us in under 40. I tried to ignore my concern that we had slowed and Richard simply waved to his fans. Yeah, it's like you. Great, Richard. Let's keep that moving now. This is a tough one. Well done. As we made our way for the final time up along the waterfront, multiple park runners were coming into the finish. Having completed his 5K, Photo Paul came to join us, and Edwin was hot on our heels. Next time we're back here, Richard will be for that finish. And up in the distance, you got Dover Castle. Shrouded slightly in the fog. And then, as a surprise, we saw Richard's family, who'd come to support him. <laughs> Ambassador Ian gave words of encouragement. Excellent effort, well done. Well done, guys. Great stuff, Judy, all the way now. Paul led the way, and Zoe flew by. It's possible that you can't improve your muscles that much, but you can stop them getting worse. Exactly. And even if you can hold them as they are, it's better than wasting away. Yeah, it's prevention, really. Yeah, yeah. it is, you know, and if you don't work at it, you will waste away. There's no two ways about it. Superb stuff, Richard. Come on. Further down, Ian dragged a smiling Judy down the final straight. She would go on to run a brand new personal best of 28 minutes and 20 26 seconds. One woman was so shocked at their speed, she forgot to hold on to her child. Tiredness creeps in a little bit. Richard was just saying he might be slowing a bit. Let's go, Richard. Well, that's what that 5K is about. When it gets tough, head down, keep pushing on. But I was pleased to see our split when four kilometers arrived. That's the 4K mark. That was an eight flats. That was bang on the 40 minute pace. But we're gonna need another of those. We're not in the all clear yet. Richard Brisley is on his way into the final kilometer. Superb. Hello again, Marshall. Hello, come on, sprint finish. Not far to go now. Last oh, bit. Go on, Richard. Now, come on. That's it, fantastic. And he was back up to speed. Brilliant, Richard. Sometimes I turn to have a certain amount of energy, and once that's gone, it's gone, and then you just struggle for the last bit and get over the line. Well done, Edwin, great stuff. At 79 years old, Edwin was powering along. He gave Richard a nod and pushed on. Absolutely amazing. Richard, we know this isn't a race, it's part run, <laughs> but come on, buddy. <laughs> There's the end of the pier and the finish line. We've just got to get there. A glance at the watch told me that we had just over 600 meters to go. Richard is in the zone, focused, driving forwards. We've got a couple of jog on tops coming to join us. Strengthen our numbers, bring us towards the finish line. Now a dazzling of orange, we formed a sub 40 unit to try to keep Richard from falling off the pace over the final stretch. 300 meters left. From the finishing area, we could be seen approaching. Smooth and calm, Richard, smooth and calm. This is brilliant, 38.18 on the watch. This was getting close. Cheers, guys, thank yes. you. I have a lot of belief in you, and I think, like you said, it's about getting across that finish line. And I think at, at your age and the things you're doing, it's so inspiring, and I think that a lot of people take a lot of inspiration from it. And I just wish you all the best with the running into the future. This is brilliant, Richard, come on. Go on, Richard. Come on, that's it. That's it, Richard Brisley, coming in. Here we go. Come on. Fantastic. Come on, Richard. And as we drew nearer, Richard checked the direction and hit the rocket boosters. That's it. Go, 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 go. Come on, look at this. He's flying through. Come on. Come on, well done. He'd done it. Well done, Richard. Well done. Well done for your mate. Not bad for ADR, isn't it? Harry Morgan, yes. We took a photo to commemorate the moment. I was introduced to Richard's family, his son and grandson. Well done. Thank you. Nice and flat. Mr. Jogon, he's going to be running before too long. I was struggling a little, 
And then my mind took over and I thought, no, this is your one shot of the title you've got yeah, to go yeah. for. Richard did it, sub 40. Really proud of Richard, what a fantastic effort. With more than 470 park runs completed, Edwin walked away, a quiet legend. What a brilliant run from Richard. How did it feel? Yeah, it was pretty good, really. There was one stage where I started to flag a bit, but then my mind took over and thought, no, go for it, you know, you can do this. And I was like, well, I think we've got a PB here, which I'm really pleased for. And the final one, I'll stop doing shout outs, is Richard Brisley, at 82 years of age, has donned the jog on top and is running fantastically well. <laughs> and look out for a future video, maybe with Richard when I pace him at the park, because I think that'll be a fantastic video if he's willing to do it. <laughs>